Welcome to YouTube Excel Finance Trick number one. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook Excel Finance Tricks 1 to 17. Hey, in trick number one, we're on the time value of money sheet. We want to talk about the time value of money. Our question here is, do you want to receive $1 today or $1 one year from now? We have a little table here. Here's receive $1 today and here's today. I'm going to click in the cell and type 1, enter. So do you want it here or do you want to receive $1 one year from now? I'm going to click in the cell and type 1. Hey, which one do you want? One here or one here? Hey, the answer is probably that you want it today, right? Because we're probably going to be able to earn interest. Even put it in the bank and earn some basic simple interest is better than not earning any at all. I'm going to click in this cell right here and I'm going to say the, use the formula equals this one dollar times. Now I'm going to have to put an open parenthesis and one plus this simple interest rate. Hey, the bank said, or whatever investment vehicle said, we'll give you 10% for the whole year. You put some money in, and at the end of the year, we'll calculate 10% and give that to you on top of the original $1. I'm going to close parentheses. Now, why do we have to do 1 plus? Because when you multiply this, the distributive uh, property would say 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 10% is 10 cents. So when you add them together, it gives you a dollar ten. I'm going to hit tab. Tab. Oh, one dollar and ten cents. So at the end of one year, if we get it today and put it in the bank at the end of the one year, we have one dollar and ten cents. So if you see here, it says I prefer this because I have earned interest. Now, most of the time, you can earn interest. Once in a while, you get a loss if you're investing in some other type of vehicle. But in general, uh, this is the idea of time value of money. Hey, getting the dollar today and putting it in the bank, it gives us time one year to earn some interest. Whereas if we did not receive it today, but just said, hey, give me the dollar in one year, we wouldn't have any time to earn interest. That's the time value of money. Now, uh, let's just look at the idea of present value and future value. In finance, this uh, gives beginning students a hard time. But here's an easy way to remember future value and present value. Hey, on the day we get the dollar, what's the present value of it? Hey, it's $1. So I'm going to click in this cell and say equals boop, that one right there, and then tab. Now, what about the future value? Oh, after one year in the future, one year from now, I'm going to have $1.10. So I'm going to say equals $1.10 and then enter. Here's the way I think of it and got it into my brain the very first time. I said, hey, uh, if, if right now I put a dollar in the bank, that's the present value. If I have a dollar in my hand right now, how much is it worth? What is the present value? One dollar. But what about at the end of one year? The future value is going to be a dollar and ten cents. What's the difference between those two? Look, we started here and we went to here. What's the difference? Ten cents. What is that difference called? What is that ten cents called? Hey, it's called interest. I'm adding interest. So when you go from present value to future value, you're adding interest. Now, let's think about the opposite. Let's say we would like, we're sitting here today, right? Right now at the present moment. And we're saying, in the future, I want $1.10. What would I have to put in the bank today to get $1.10 in the future? So we know what we want in the future, a dollar ten, but we want to figure out what we have to put in the bank today. The difference is still interest and it's still ten cents, but what are we doing? <gasps> to get present value from the known quantity future value, we have to take out or subtract the interest. And that's it. That's an easy way to figure out the difference bet between present value and future value. When you know the future value, you know the future value, and you want to get to present value, subtract out all the interest. When you know the present value and you want to know what the future value is, you add in all the interest. All right, uh, we'll see you next finance trick.